Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Zero, and welcome to Classmates, which is an RPG Maker horror game where you go to visit a classmate and quickly find out they may or may not be a stalker. You're going to Ian Davis's house. Why? He wants to borrow my notes since he missed so many classes. You barely know the guy. He asked. I couldn't refuse. Plus, I mean, that's the premise of the game. Plus, he's been missing class to take care of his sister. Doesn't hurt to help. C -c Can we come with? I don't want you going alone this late. Relax, it's still 7 p.m. I'll give him the notes and leave. I don't know, June. That guy is... I'm not sure how to explain it. It's like something straight out of an anime. You guys worry too much. I won't go in his house. He's our classmate, right? I'll come with you. There's no need for that. If you're really worried, I'll send you my location. Hmm. Can't you go in the morning? He asked me to come now, and I already agreed. Just make sure to call us if anything happens. Yeah. You got it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Alright, I have to take the blue line. Which way was the bus stop again? Objective, take the bus! Do not save mid-dialogue. Oh. Apparently that's an option. I like the UI of the phone. What's this? Cafe. Jane? She's talking. Shouldn't interrupt. She's talking. I should interrupt. A vending machine. Can I? You're starting to second-guess your decisions. Yeah, cancel those plans! Are you sure? You don't want to go to your classmate's house? Yeah, him filling class is his own problem. What am I doing? Lily and Quinn are right. It's better than being in a public place. Yo, you guys are right. Ask him to come meet us here. That's much better. Yeah. Alright. I like the one of like the, the messy, like, sleepy hair. I like that look. I feel like I avoided something really huge. Oh well. Ending zero. Cancelled plans. Proceed, yes. I need to get off at the next stop. Everyone in the city pays attention to their hair. It is kind of strange that he asked me to come over at night. It makes more sense to be up in the morning. You have a slightly strange feeling, but you decide to ignore it. Alright, time to get off. He's sleeping. There was um, a horror anime, Shiki. Very good, by the way. I really like it. It's a vampire one. But, like, everyone had, like, really elaborate hair. Like, even by anime standards, like, really elaborate, distinct hairstyles. That's what I'm suddenly thinking of now. Because, like, everyone in this city has, like, distinct hair. This is the place. It's in the middle of nowhere, huh? Ah, you made it. Even you got like, you got like 80s rocker hair. Hello, Ian. I'm sorry for making you come all the way. Not at all. How's your sister? Sister? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we caught you on that one. She's fine. Much better. I'm glad. Well, I got you the notes. You can return them at any time. Thank you. That's very kind of you. Even though we're not that close. You agreed to help me. Don't mention it. If you need any more help, feel free to ask. I'll just be going now. Alright. Goodbye, and good luck. Wait. Yes? Please, come in. You came all the way here. Let me get you something to drink. No! Oh no, it's quite alright. I insist. I want to thank you properly. Pay me money. But I do understand if you feel uncomfortable. 
Bye. I promised Lilia I'd leave after handing him the notes. I appreciate the offer, but I'm in a bit of a hurry. Ha! I see. Another time, then. Yep. What was that look? I ended up going home. What would have happened if I agreed to go inside? Eh, probably nothing. Ending one, study buddy. Go in. It wouldn't hurt to stay a bit, would it? Um, sure, but only for a little while. Oh, I'm so glad you agreed. Please come in. Welcome inside. <laughs> nice house. You and your sister live alone, right? Dad lives with us, too. Well, he's traveling right now. I see. Follow me. Okay. Well, this place looks really purple. See, so you're into the, uh, purple decorating. Just nothing but a purple table. Please, wait here while I make us some tea. Or would you prefer coffee? Tea is fine. I see. Give me a moment. But you drink from it first. You fool! I'm immune to my own poison! Now what do I do? I should save, actually. Oh look, there's options. Uh, I mean, we'll just we'll just go on with what he wants us to do this time around. He's sure taking his time. Do 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 do. Put in the poison, and here you go. Thank you. Drink up. I hope it's to your liking. I'm sure I'll love it. Drink tea. How is it? It is so good. It tastes exactly like the tea I make at home. But the tea was just normal. I guess we have similar tastes. Like, that that's the actual issue. Like, it tastes like the tea I have at home. Won't you drink yours? Ah, yes. Give me a moment. I'll go answer the phone. Please take your time. I kind of need to use the bathroom. I shouldn't want to around, but... This is an emergency. Objective, find the bathroom. The bathroom. Much better. Hey, sorry about that. It's okay. It's getting quite late. I should be... Heading home, you cliché bastard. You're starting to feel dizzy. I... I feel strange. Everything okay, June? Well, that's a nice name, June. Huh? Huh? What? M my head. You're trying to remember what happened. Where? Am I tied up? That's right. I passed out. I got roofied in. I. What the hell? You feel your blood pressure drop. Your face is pale. My phone. I need to call. It's not here. Do you have a knife, you cliché bastard? June, you're awake. Ian, what's going on? Good morning, June. Why am I tied up? This isn't funny. Please untie me. I don't wanna. June. What is wrong with you? Why are you doing this? Stop yelling. Look, I promise I'll explain everything. Let me go. Then you can explain. Hell no. Where is my stuff? Where is my phone? I hid them. <laughs> you know, June. I really like you. You, 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 untie me! Stop yelling! <sighs> I can't believe this. <laughs> 
Stop smiling. And what's with a knife, huh? You gonna kill me? No, it's for cutting cake. Should I? There was like a one in there. It's like old school. Ah, oh, you just made it so easy. I mean, come on. You come into that guy's house. At night. Drink whatever he serves you. Want any hesitation? You let your guard down. This is your own doing, June. I think it's a doing of you poisoning my drink. Blah, blah, blah. Sure, I should have been more careful. But you're the one committing a crime here. I understand why you're angry. I really do. B believe me. I too like you. Which is why I have to do this. My feelings for you are something you would never understand. Let me go! <laughs> Your tantrums are kind of cute. Oh my god, you! Stop whining. Should I tape your mouth shut, too? Good girl. What the hell? I'll be right back, June. Die! I really should tape your mouth shut. Calm down, June. You can cry later. Gotta get out of here. Did Ian drop something? You can't seem to reach it. Ian only used tape to tie my hands. Maybe if I wear it down. Press the arrow keys to free your hands from tape. It came off, thank god. My arms hurt. Find a way out of this place. What is this? Tin room key. A key. He dropped a key. He's kind of a dumbass too, huh? Do I? Am I like unable to save now? Yeah, because I'm not my phone. I can't save or access the menu of the game. A box. Strange smells coming out of it. Uh. What? Uh, it... is that... The box is filled with what seems to be human hands. The smell is so strong you decide to close the box again. There's a bunch of random items. Hmm. Something stands out to you. This is... the pencil I lost last week. Why is it here? This seems to be the way out of here. Oh, wow. These are all pictures of... Me. You feel sick. Ian will probably be back soon. I need to hurry. I need to find my phone. They have random scribbles on them. That's not really random. That's more of, like, consistent... Between the papers, one stands out to you. This paper is completely empty. We're not saying it. Hmm. Locked. I think I'll find a key to open it. Drawer is locked with a padlock. Hmm. Nothing happened. You hear yelling from outside. Open the damn door, Ares! What the hell did you break? Leave! I said open the door! Stop screaming! I'm gonna kill you, you brat! Leave, leave, leave! So annoying. Ian and his sister, they're fighting. Don't break anything else. And stop screaming! He's coming back. Crap. Hide. He'll never check under the bed. <sighs> what a pain. June, I'm back. Huh? Where the hell did she go? Later! I need to get out of here. 
Miss, come here, quick. I need to leave. He locked the front door. Come, hide in here. You won't be able to hide from me and my pink hair. Seriously. The one-time telemarketer saved your life! He's looking for me. Hey, are you okay? I heard the fight. I'm okay. You're Ian's sister, right? Half-sister. Huh. She looks awfully young. Do you know where he could have hidden my stuff? We need to call the police, and I want to call my friends. In his room, Bromley. I don't have a phone. There's a landline in the kitchen, though. I see. Her brother seems unstable. I don't want to endanger this kid. All right, you stay here, and I'll sneak into the kitchen and call the cops. He's gonna be outside, you know. Waiting. What about the window? Our windows don't open all the way. We'll make them open all the way. F father he... Your dad? She stopped responding. Aries. Please leave. Okay, I'll leave. I'll get us out of here, Aries. He's not there. So you not have your phone anymore, you must speak to Aries and run a save. Ah. Oh. Aries, it's me, June. Need something? Save my game! Are you down here, by the way? No. <laughs> just, wanna, just wanna see if you can, like, bump into him. Bathroom. There's a piece of paper on the table. Take note. A guide to the purple pill? One capsule will cause mild dizziness, two capsules will cause blurry vision, three capsules will cause fainting for around 90 minutes. It can be ingested through the mouth, nose, and eyes. Side effects include nausea, vomiting, and response, and more. Mix residue of hot water to get rid of the bitter taste and for full effect. Residue cannot be traced in the human body. Hmm. This is the kitchen. You hear Ian's voice. He's in here. You can't use a landline right now. Locked. Do I have to manually? Yeah, I do. So the key Ian dropped was for this room. A drawer. Locked. There must be a key around here somewhere. A drawer. There's a small jar filled with capsules. What is this? Medicine? Drugs? It's a daily dose. Almost. This is what Ian used to drug me. Might be useful. Too many books. There's a small sharpener in between the shelves. A sharpener. Could be useful. So many books, but forced to out to you. Flip the page. Wait, what? There's a puzzle here. Um, was there anything of real note? Sharpener. Gotta sharpen the pencil. Now I have a sharp pencil. Hmm. Empty paper stands out beside you. You lightly shade over the empty paper. Oh! Some indented writing appears on the paper. Red one, triple nine. Does this mean anything? What do you think it means? Something fell out of the book. A key. Small key. What is this? Obtain the calendar. Your footsteps. 
Ian. Hide. I can't. Okay, I can hide in the boxes. Damn. That asshole won't stop calling. June. She's still here, huh? June. He didn't bother looking here. I guess whatever he was keeping busy is over. I need to be careful now. At this point on, Ian will switch locations every 60 seconds. Hmm. If you wish to enter a location he's in, you must wait for him to leave. Be careful and don't get caught. Make sure to hide. Now, are you still in the... Not yet. Some plates and mugs. There's a spray ball between the mugs. This looks interesting. Timer still runs while I'm talking. So I'm just gonna kind of click through things. The landline. Yes, I can call the police now. This is... This can't be right. The landline is not working. That timer's going down. Landline doesn't work. There's a small number written on it. Ten. No, 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 no. No, 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 You're not in here, are you? Fill the pot of water. What's what's the spray here? What's this? Did he drop this too? This is strange. Is he really that dumb? Team paper. X plus X equals... Yeah. Calendar. Couple days from Highland. February 2nd business trip. November 12th. I... Tell the tarp is going down! Not yet. Television. There's a small number in the corner. Five. Okay. Oh, you went to the kitchen, you sneaky little... Bear? It opened. Matches. Matches, huh? Can you use these to light something? Is this one of those gas stoves? There's nothing on the stove. Pot? Now what? Sometimes you can, like, dip stuff in, like, water. Paper? No, that's the wrong thing. Oh, the pills. All right. You want to knock him out. Done. Okay. The water and drug mixture is still in the stove. So spray ball, right? Change sprayable drug mix. Hide. Oh, hi. Hey, June. Was this little game of hide-and-seek fun? It's over now. Oh, be quiet! Hiya! With all your power, you hold the spray ball right up to his face. Ah, my only weakness, purple! Everything's purple in this house, including the spray! Take that! Blarg. He collapsed. Now stab him. He really fainted. The spray ball ran out. No time to waste. Leave this place. No, stab him. Not moving. Tin room key. Photo card. Oop. Didn't have the front door key on him. It's a picture of a woman holding a child. There's a date right on the back of the photo. June 17th. Oh, huh. June, June.
Order to fill the suits. Lock safe. Seems to be a family portrait. That's Ian and his sister Ares. That man looks like Ian, but what looks more like Ares? You flip the photo frame. It's signed. Anya. King size bed. Bathroom. No, no, I, that's not it. Anya. Hmm. Tin drawer key. Tin newspaper. It's a newspaper of an old date. What article piqued your interest? At age 32, actress and singer Anya Petrova was found dead in her home. It says here it was days before her wedding. Huh. I can find the key to open it. My stuff. Team phone. Team wallet. I need to call someone. No signal. There's probably better signal outside. Now I just need the front door key. H23, June Miller. So this is the one we tried earlier. It opened. There's nothing but a knife inside the drawer. We'll leave that for right now, because that seems to be optional. So you want to leave? Yes. Did you find your fangs, miss? I did. But I don't know where he hid the front door key. You can't find it. Because I asked my dear sister to hold on to it for me. Ian! You really thought you had a chance of beating me. At my own game. I was only messing around with you. For the most part. That spray bottle came out of nowhere. What? If Iris has a key, then... She's my sister. You remember? She listens to me. I'm sorry. God damn it! What do I do? Think fast. I'm sorry, miss. I'm sorry. Told you she have stabbed him. Don't feel bad, Ares. Now your little secret is safe with Big Brother. What secret? What is going on? Don't worry. It's none of your business. Damn it. I have no way of properly defending myself. CQC. Just give up, June. It'll be easier that way. Is this it? Use your arm or your hand to get the knife stuck in you and tackle him down the stairs. Like, unironically, that, that's literally your only option right now. You can't grab it out of his hand. Ian, please. Ah. Uh, that look. I like your expression, June. Seriously, you're in front of the stairs. That's like one of the most deadliest thing. Stairs kill, like... You know how many people stairs kill a year? Doesn't matter if he has a knife, he is in front of a stairs. You won't get away with any of this. Honestly, I was gonna play around more before doing this, but... You got me all excited. I think you just got away with it. No more. Quiet. June, you thought you were so smart. It was really cute. <laughs> of course, it did annoy me a bit, but it's okay, June. I forgive you. Because you see, people like you, kind, naive, I like them so much. It makes me sick. Ending two. Sick. Take the knife. What do I do? Think fast. I'm sorry, miss. I'm sorry. Don't feel bad, Ares. Now your little secret is safe with Big Brother. What secret? What is going on? Don't worry. 
It's none of your business. Now, tell me, how will you get out of this? Ooh, I have options. Go right for the kill. I have a knife, you know. Back off! Stab me, then. Okay. You don't think I can do it? Go ahead. Do it. June? This is too much. I never did anything to you. June, just stab him! June! So why... Are you doing this to me? You say you like me, but you seem to find joy in my misery. What did I ever do to deserve this? That's why I told you. You will never understand how I feel. But why? Because... You're a good person, June. What are you- Ian... Shh. I like you, June. You know that, right? You feel your vision go dark. You can't quite describe what you're feeling right now. Did you truly deserve such a fate? You start remembering Lilia and Quinn's words to you. Everything is dark. The world went mute. Hey. How are you liking today's dinner, June? Oh, too salty, is it? That's what the Everest said, too. I made sure you use less salt, though. June, you're so pretty today. You're my favorite one of them all. But sadly, I found someone else I really like. She's really sweet and kind, just like you. And today, I'll invite her over. Ending three, dinner. So we're loaded way back. Go help Ian. Is this the kitchen? Ian, do you need any help? Did I tell you the wait? Sorry, thought you could use some help. Question mark? Oh no, I I've got it. Please wait for me in the living room. All right. Don't drink the tea. You suddenly feel strange. I prefer to wait a bit for the tea to cool down. I see. Give me a minute. I'll go answer the phone. Please take your time. I kinda need to use the bathroom. I shouldn't wander around, but this is an emergency. Locked. No response. I don't think this is the bathroom. No response. I don't think this is the bathroom. Hello? This door just opened on its own, right? I should find the bathroom and leave. Wait. You must be Ian's sister, right? She nods quietly. Nice to meet you, I'm... Shh. He'll hear you. Who? Who will hear me? My brother. Is that... a problem? Miss, you need to leave this house. This girl is freaking me out. Check his room. See for yourself. What? The girl hands you a small black key. What was that? Ian's room, probably. The key worked. What? The... This is... These are all... Me! I... I need to get out of here. Ah, this is what you do in this route. Now, how did you get in here? So annoying. I let my guard down. So, <laughs> I went for the locker early. I think I'm just gonna get the knife early, see what happens. And I got this. 
You cheated, didn't you? Where is the fun in that? Okay. Stab his chest. Die! What are you gonna do? Stab me? Man who was stabbed. Huh. Huh. Ah. Uh. What? Thought I wouldn't do it? Ian? Ian lays before you lifeless. Yeah, that's alright. A little bit of ketchup never hurt anybody. Brother? You just killed Ian Davis. Ian? Something feels so terribly wrong. Your skin feels funny. The blood smells really bad. You should stop standing like an idiot and go wash it off or something. No. This is so wrong. No, it isn't! And so the tragic tale of Ian Davis comes to an end. With his pathetic death. Ending 4. Self-defense. I'm not sure why you would feel bad. I mean... He's got, he's got like a bunch of heads stored in cardboard boxes. In this like, closet here, I mean... Like, oh no, I stabbed that man who collects heads. Trust me, the world's a bit better off. Stab his arm. You loser. I need to buy some time. Je oh. Out of my way! My arm. There he is, give me the key. But... Don't do it! Don't listen to him. Let's get out of here! Ares! Why does no one ever kick anyone down the stairs? Do you know how fatal that is? Doesn't matter how big or small or whatever you are, you go down those stairs in reverse like that. Bare minimum, you get the wind knocked out of you. Oh, I'm really gonna kill you now. The door won't open! Give me the key. Open the door, spam the Z key. You don't remember much from that night. Everything seems so distant. In all honesty, you're not sure how you managed to keep it together. You don't know what happened to Ian. Or Ares. You don't know anything about them. Not that it matters. You will never see them again. You did well. I'm proud of you, Chun. Thanks, Doctor. Don't thank me. It is the truth. You've been through something awful. You still have so much to process. Hmm. But you should have still shoved him down those stairs. I'll see you next week, same time. You know, for a stair shoving consultation. June! Hey, you doing okay? You guys gonna pick me up again? Of course. We're worried. For a while now, you've been hearing his voice in your head. It truly really feels suffocating. You sleep, and find yourself right back at that house. His voice. It's so annoying. So loud. Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero. Let's get some coffee, hmm? Coffee. Coffee. You'd like some coffee right now. Sounds good. Although sometimes... There is is much louder. Does anyone get a Donkey Kong vibe from this song? A little loosely, right? Does, does anyone else hear that?
true end. Here's a little bonus room. Name June Miller. Dislikes trains. I can help you revise the lesson. She's about to do like Mogiko games. I mean, it may actually be influenced by that because Mogiko really loved the bonus rooms with the sprites. What? Like shrimp. Shrimp, shrimp. Shrimp. Hello, Yum's here. I think I'm saying your name right. Thank you so much for playing Classmates. I'd like to make longer, more fleshed out games, but I'm taking it one step at a time. I want to introduce my little world slowly. So enjoy these small games to get to know the characters. Hopefully I'll be able to make more in the future, so stay tuned. Gwen. Just like sour candy. You suck. Sour candy's the best. And if you say so. Lily of Misfortune! Well, that's fitting. Please don't go. I'm gonna get out of here. No. Wanna leave? Who are you people? So, that's it for Classmates. A... Fairly classic Yandere story. Well, if you actually think of the, uh, the Yandere, um... Format. Storyline-wise, Yandere is... Especially with the, if it's a male lead. We're just going back to Psycho. You know, the original, uh... The old... The old classic horror movie. You know, the black and white one. With the... De, 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 with the, the shower. Because at the core of, like, a lot of schlock... And classical horror movies... Um, I mean, I consider most horror plots schlock, realistically. Even, like, higher brow, well-written ones. Just because of their premises. The core is always, like, the stalker man. Right? The slasher villain usually is some form of stalker man. Someone obsessed with the protag. So, storyline-wise, nothing really new here at all. But, it is a very smoothly put-together kind of RPG maker horror game. The art works. Our characters look a little distinct. So they're not completely blending in with the uh, the world or backgrounds. And you have your multiple endings. You have your variances on. You have your, like, forget everything and go, yeah, you have two just go back home endings. Uh, and I believe this is this creator's uh, second game. They made number one called Giselle, I believe. That one looked pretty interesting. I think I avoided that one because I was worried that some of the... I didn't actually play it. I, I was just worried that based on the tag, some of the themes were, like, YouTube was being very tricky with me at that moment. So I always say, like, when you, when, you know, when the lights are on you, you kind of stay in the gover hole for a while, right? Keep your head low a little bit. Then you, like, you pop the check around, like, eh, is it clear? Uh, is the UFOs gone? And you, like, come out of the gopher hole. But for a newer dev, especially in the RPG Maker field, which is very thin nowadays, there's only a few really, like, I'd say, like, fully produced ones. There's been some commercial releases recently, actually. Uh, a couple of big ones, in fact. But for the most part, compared to the old days, clearly, it's, it's a smaller field. With even... And I mean, I'm talking about the RPG Maker engine in itself. Uh, people are making, like, RPG Maker-like games like Unity and stuff nowadays. But they seem like a competent dev. Even if we sometimes tread down some cliches as far as storyline, like Yandere's and whatnot. Uh, you do have to remember that the developer field is not infinite. This is something you may not notice as a viewer, but I definitely notice as a content creator. Is that... A lot of sometimes amazing indie developers only make one shot. Like they just do whatever one game, or they make a few games and then, you know, they go on with their life, they get normal jobs, I'm assuming, or go to schools or whatever. So you, you do always need to kind of recirculate and bring in new developers, new faces, and everything to kind of continue on the torch. So I never quite knock a game for being like, oh, it's never Yandere Gamer, it's never this or never that, never this. As long as your game is delivered with a level of competence and, you know, like, doing your art, putting some fun into things. And this game actually brought me a little bit of nostalgia, which is weird, because the RPG Maker, like, the, the famous era of where everyone goes back to, it's not that long ago, really, if you actually look at the amount of years, but media moves very fast now. So, overall, I liked it. I like Classmates. Anyway, so thank you all for watching Play Classmates. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.